Hello. So my granddaughter picked out two micas and one alcohol ink. The micas are from Eye Candy. The alcohol ink is from Let's Resin. And I just received these molds earlier yesterday from Etsy. And I'm super excited to use them at this point. So my granddaughter and I decided we were going to use them for this. And here I am shaking up the alcohol ink. And then when I open it, I realize I hadn't opened that one before. So I had to cut the top. And that was coffee colored Let's Resin Metallic. That's what that is. And then um, the uh, Eye Candy Mica is rose red and emerald green that's what those are so here i am mixing up the uh, metallic alcohol ink and there's my baby girl over there she had her sticks handy she was handing me she had the sticks and everything there, and uh, she was handing me my um, supplies as I needed them. When I first look at this, I realize I needed it to be just a little bit darker um, because of the colors she had picked to go in there with that rose red and that emerald green. I felt like I needed a good tint to that alcohol ink. And I'm the person that's like, okay, when it looks mixed, mix it some more. And for this resin, I'm using the super clear art resin that, um, I order from eye candy or Amazon and it does show bubbles when it's mixed but they dissipate plus the fact um, I use 99% isopropyl alcohol which helps with the bubbles as well and I watch the temperature of part A. And this red is really pretty. Look at that pearl looking rose red. Yes, very pretty. And there I am, mix and mix some more. <laughs> and I have to make myself say, okay, it's mixed. It's enough, it's enough. But have you ever not mixed it? And and, and, and mica is notorious for it, but you get those little pieces of mica, the little parts of the mica that didn't actually get mixed in or refused to mix in. And when it's cured, it comes to the top and you have those little spots. Now, I've had so many people tell me, hey, that's a part of being homemade. It's not factory made. It's homemade. And you're going to have blemishes. But I really try hard to limit the amount of homemade blemishes. I try. Now, this green I'm in love with. I just, I just love it. All right, so we're ready. And I'm going to um, spray because I saw some of the bubbles, you see they disappeared, had come to the top, and then I'm just going to mix that alcohol in. And we're just going to pour the coffee metallic Let's Resin brand 
alcohol ink around the edge. Now I'm going to pour clear in the middle and for this project I mixed up um, 160 mil. Now I wanted to use my double cup and that's because my granddaughter was like, oh, Mimi, that looks so cool. And I said, well, baby girl, let me show you how we're going to use it. And she liked it because it looked like a heart to her. Now I have the soft silicone ones, but I find that they're not the easiest to direct if that makes sense. These that are hard are easier to direct. So um, that's why I pretty much lean towards these. I have a whole set of them. They come in a, a, a set. I believe there's four of them um, in a set. The different um, ones like two, three, four, and there's one more. I, I would have to look at the set. I know there's four in that set. As a matter of fact, I think I showed the box in a video the other day. But I would have to go back and do it again. Alright, so we're going to pour. Now, um, I'm spraying because some of the bubbles had come to the top. I don't use heat very often. I don't use heat. People are like, well, the alcohol interferes with the process. Well, heat does too. So you're not going to get any absolutes. So I prefer the alcohol. And I want to keep it directional and I just didn't have a paper towel there. So I use my fingers and that's why I'm wearing gloves and yeah. Messy me, don't care. That's my business. If you're working with resin, you're probably going to get messy. I didn't scrape. Um, I just poured until it just stopped dripping out. And we're just going to sit here and look at it for a second. And... Um, Gonna wipe my fingers off. And then I will pour the rest of my clear resin into the center. I'm I'm kind of showing my granddaughter because she's standing over there watching. I'm I'm showing her, you know, how things look, explaining to her the difference between the ink and the mica. She's eight years old, and she is sharp as a tack. Getting the last bit of that clear out. And you're already seeing the process. You can just see it. Now, this is not on a heat mat. It's not on a le it's on a leveling table, but there's no heat applied to it. Um, which I think that when the heat mat's underneath it, it does work that process a little more. But um, I just had this up on a leveling table and um, that way... You know, my granddaughter could stand there and watch and uh, see things at a safe distance, you know, not right up on it. Uh, during my mixing, she did wear the ventilator. 
Um, and I don't really let her touch anything that has wet resin on it. So, yeah. But anyhow, I think that it's more of a Christmassy color. But who am I to tell my baby girl we cannot use red and green, right? Who am I? So, we do us. Those are our pronouns. We and us. <laughs> All right. So, we're just going to watch this and I'll spray it a little bit more. There I am spraying it. See the bubbles that had come up in the in the middle and um, wipe some things up. And we're just kind of admiring our work here. I guess I could play some music for you, but yeah, what's the point? Fast forward if you want to see the rest of it without my commentary. All right, here we go. Um, I just took the camera down and just did a couple of close-ups so you could see that the process was already working. And this is me looking at it before I'm going to unmold it. Sorry, I took the sound away. I know that's quite satisfying, but I took the sound away when I was creating the video. It's like, okay, I don't need everything that's going on in the background on any of it. So, look how pretty that is. Look at the, look at the cells. It just turned out really pretty. And I'm loving these molds. So, I ordered these off Etsy, and I will try to put that link in uh, my post somewhere. Um, I think um, I got them two for 35, but they're really good size molds. Look how pretty those are. Turned out, I mean, just look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. The edges are great. Look at the edges. They're just great. And so here I have taken them outside. Let's get a little sunshine in this action here. Of course, it's... Um, Early in the morning, so the sun's starting to come up. My tree kind of blocks it, but uh, there you go. Oh, and that butterfly on my wrist is one of those temporary tattoos. I was showing my granddaughter how I use the temporary tattoos in my resin, and so she's like, well, what's it look like on you? So I just put it on my wrist, and it's been on there for two days through showers and everything. So don't let anybody tell you those temporary tattoos don't, don't last very long because that's two days of showering thanks for watching